I am back in the city of Edison and basically the accountability I can talk about, you know. Here's what I've come up with. I had this dude, Anthony Piccarillo, giving me, hitting me up with these, you know, houses that are in the Edison, in the city of Edison by the train station, South Edison. And I just decided, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm gonna add that as a down payment on this house, um, whatever house, I wish it, you know. It's really not a problem, you know. I'm this close to my dreams, you know. And I decided, you know, I decided to just separate myself from family, you know. I'll still call and wish, you know, the people that love me, people that, the cousins that still like me, and of course, that's my entire, that's everybody on my mama's side, of course. Um, I'll still call and wish them happy birthday. Uh, right now, I'm too busy. I'm busy getting myself together. And while I still have my freedom, you know, I don't know how, honestly, I don't know how to, how to be quiet, you know, so, I'd rather just, I'd rather just go, I don't have that, I don't have that discipline yet, I don't have the self-control yet, I mean, I understand, you know, the seriousness of what I did wrong. I understand where I messed up. I understand where I messed up. I continue to yap instead of letting the situation breathe. After, you know, instead of letting it breathe, I just continue to run my mouth for no reason. And I don't have discipline, self-control yet. I just thought, while I'm still free, you know, I could just move out and just let, you know, just get some coaching, you know? This coach, acting, you know, director of casting, she'll, she said that she'll work on the discipline, you know, and I'm also taking online, you know, IT classes, you know, soon, as soon as I move out, you know, on my own paycheck, you know, and it's online, so it's flexible. But you don't know. I'm really working on, you know, me, you know. I thought, well, I still have my freedom. As soon as I get my first paycheck, I can move right out. I can just move on out, find that apartment in the city of Edison, and just save my money and just get prepared for IPOP in Los Angeles, you know. I'm going to get discovered. I'm about to be on the CW. See, some people, well, most people, the best people, grow while working on their craft. Now I don't have to why, now I don't have to wonder why Devin was very mature last time, you know. We met, and that was Christmas 2019. That was because 
he worked on his craft. All, all those 11, 10 years, he was down in South. That's what I need to be doing right now. I've been waiting five years to get this career started. You know, I've been making videos for five years. You know, really doesn't seem like it's been much during these past five years, but let's see. I've sung with Curtis Farrow. I've done stage crew with people. I did I mention I did an album? Mm -hmm. Self-acceptance. Beautiful. And I'm working on music right now. I'm about to become a star, you know. Oh wow, wow. I'm busy getting myself together, you know. I just do not need, you know. I'm trying to get my life rich, get my life back on track. From scratch, zero help. Get that maturity on my own, you know, because, like, like I said, I can't close it, so I'd rather just walk away, just, just remove myself, you know, Situation, you know, because I already hurt, you know, my cousin, I already hurt my classmates because of my disrespect. I believe I really hurt them to the core. That's okay. Maria, my casting director slash acting coach, she'll, she'll get me to get there, get to that discipline. I just got to get this job, get this paycheck, move out, and do my own thing, you know? I'm going to be fine. The reason I'm not talking with my cousins is because I don't want the next thing I say to them, I don't want them, I don't want to make them cry. Or maybe I already made them cry in November, you know, 2020. So I'm not going to talk to them right now because we already fell out, you know. And secondly, I'm busy working on me, you know. There are some family events that might be coming up, you know, get-togethers, you know. And I've already been to as many as I was able to go to while Grandma and Papa are still alive. And some, you know, missed, missed a few family events. Now... It's my turn as I'm getting it together. It's my turn to miss a couple of family events, you know? And it's nothing personal. It's really nothing personal. I'm just really getting myself together. I'm really working on me. So it's, as I'm getting myself together, it's my turn to miss. Okay? Does that make sense? Good. So seeing that that makes sense, yeah. I don't have to talk with the people that don't like me, you know, because I think 
it's not that they're holding grudges against me. I just understand that I really hurt them to the core. And I hold myself accountable for my actions. There was a time where I made my mama and my pop sick. People make bad choices, you know, but I accept full, yeah, I, res, I accept full responsibility of them. I accept full responsibility for how I made my cousins feel, how I made my classmates feel, how I made my mama and my daddy feel. You know, a hard head, you know, made for a soft ass, you know. I've heard that so many times, and, you know. I don't mind, you know, that head on just don't hit you right where it, you know, that battlefield kind of. I don't mind that because I'm really, I'm not doing this for, you know, just for, you know, this acting thing, it's my calling, it's my dream. And I believe Maria will really get me to the top. Annie did a great job. Jensen and her mama-in-law. Love you guys. Love you too, Annie. <laughs> y'all. Y'all got me to where I feel like I'm really But I got to get back on the acting thing. This is serious. It's been five years and I have not grown because I'm not doing what I love to do. So it's time I it's time I get back to what I love. So no ifs, no buts, no coconuts. It's time to get down to business. To the feet. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Right there. But seriously, Maria. As I've discovered from that audition, she don't play. Maria, Miss Maria don't play. She'll make a man out of me. She really is gonna make a man out of me. <laughs> she don't play. Eat her every order, I'm gonna make it. Mm -hmm. So maybe I don't need army. I can just move out. That's why I didn't even tell my mama and my pops about the iPop thing because I'll already be well out. Hey! I had a dream that Lauren and I, you know, that we were friends again, you know. Right. You know, I, I really realized why I messed up, I took accountability. realized that I was abusive, you know, and disrespectful, didn't listen. I just basically apologized for how much of a selfish jerk I was. And she forgave me, and I felt like she was a true friend. I don't see that happening with my cousins, you know? I don't see my cousins forgiving me for what I did wrong. Like I said, I don't see my cousins forgiving me for what I did wrong. I, and I know what I did. I was yapping 
for no reason. Besides, I was the one who was wasting time, you know, then personally attacked the people who were just doing the right thing. Had the nerve to argue. Speaking of friends that I had, I still wonder, oh, even though it's been over 10 years, I have not seen this dude since I graduated Roosevelt School. Whatever happened to my dear friend, Bobby Snee? Because Bob, Bob is still my friend. It's still alive. You know, I don't know what happened to the dude. I don't know what happened to Bob. After, after elementary school, he disappeared. I don't know what happened. He, like, probably disappeared into the night. Literally disappeared. He said he was in Pennsylvania when he talked to me about three, four years ago. I don't remember. All I know is that I, maybe it was five years ago. I just, I was in South Plainfield. I wasn't in Rawway anymore. And I moved to South Plainfield shortly after high school graduation. Um, it was after the music band. And I haven't grown since then, honestly. <laughs> well, I'm about to start growing now. And yes, I will be doing whatever CAU um, thing I'm about to do. I don't care if I already did it or not. I'm, I'm doing it with CAU. I, I've got to start growing again and acting is the way I can do it. Hence that song I'm writing, you know, about a friend, a coach who disciplines when you need it, but a friend, a big sister, all the time, all around, amazing lady. Y'all figure it out. She's brought me into the woods and out of the woods, and even in my crucible trials, she's been there. Had a flash mob with her. You know. But I feel like while I have my freedom, I really can go out. I'll still take the civil service exam. But I'm be out acting. And in case you hadn't noticed, we had just entered Borough of Matuchin. But, um, yeah, it's all good. I don't see, I don't feel any sadness. I don't feel any remorse. I take full responsibility of my bad decisions. I, I messed up. I've moved on, you know. I did something consistently. I was immature. It wasn't a mistake. I basically know what I was doing. And I accept responsibility of my bad decisions, you know. And so many times I've personally attacked, I got angry at my mama and my pops for no reason. And because I, I wasn't listening. And I didn't care. I was just mean. I was a bully. And it made no sense. So right now, I need to start wrapping it up. And, um, um, I understand, you know, when I did what I did, it made people, you know, Think twice about wanting to have a friendship or relationship with me or wanting anything to do with me. But I definitely understand what I did. So, as I return to acting, you know. I see the walls I've hit and 
Why do you think I go to church more than ever? I go to, you know, and graduation, you know, and the self-acceptance time we could talk about, you know, when I get home. But I my church home right now is Rainfire Church. And sometimes on Monday nights, I do get a little assistance from Bishop Neil Ellis, and that really helps me, you know? Bishop Neil really helps you understand yourself through Christ, through God. I love his accent. <laughs> so I've been with, so I've been with um, Neil Ellis, so I've been with Joanne Rosario since, you know, seven years ago, you know, the party and whatnot, you know. I've been with Joanne Rosario, and I decided just let the party go. I stopped using that. It was my excuse, you know, for my bad behavior, and I accept full responsibility of my bad choices, you know. I'm not Devin, I'm not Bree, I'm not Kenyatta, but I'm really working on, you know, doing better. You know? I realize when you're told no, you know, you have to just respect that decision and not do it anyway, you know. That goes with anything. I don't care if when you're told to be quiet, it doesn't matter what you have to say. You use self-control and let it go and be quiet. If I exercise this, as a matter of fact, I'm not even thinking about Audrey and Roderick. I'm not thinking about this Sean McClish. I'm not thinking about anyone who stopped being my friend or cut me off. I'm not even thinking about Christina, you know? You know why? Because, you know, my friendship, my close relationship with Nicole, that's how close Devin and Christina are. That's like me and Nikki. And let me remind you, Nikki's on my mama's side. She looks like Grandma Minnie. <laughs> Y'all know Nicole Wiley, right? My Uncle Hoss is Eldest. Uh huh. Yeah. So, and I'm not a, I'm not a Indian fan. I'm not a um. Uh, okay, that sounded racist. I love every race. Okay, I love every race. I'm not racist. Um, whatever Cleveland's name is right now, because now they're stopping that. They're stopping. Huawei Indians. That's why Washington just said Huawei Washington football. <sighs> Whatever Cleveland is. I just did that because I love, you know, supporting America, Native American. You know, but I can't forget my black history. But um my real team, I don't like well, Mets, Yankees. And Phillies, they've been shoved down my throat. Um, you know what team I like, really? Brooklyn Dodgers. Black history. Mr. Jackie Robinson. I did a report on him once or twice. I think I, think I did a report on Jackie. But yeah. I need a 42. I need a 42 shirt. And a Martin shirt, too. Uh, you know, so I admit, I've copied off television, I've copied off Moesha, Sister Sister, Proud Family, and now, it's not just me, but so many people have turned into a generation of assholes. I, I admit that I've been, I've been so much of an asshole who can't control himself. Even when he knows he's doing the wrong thing. Uh, um, yeah, I'm a Dodger fan though. 
I don't know if it was my inspiration, MJW, who made me think of the Dodgers. But, yeah, but I'm an LA, I'm an LA fan. Not much of a Yankee fan. And my football team is Chicago Bears. Anyway, I see life going pretty well for me now. And I'm not throwing shade at anyone. You know. I I accept responsibility for my choices. I'm handling my business now. And I already had a plan. I already got a plan now. And when I get my first paycheck, I'm using that as a down.